Hello there. <clears throat> I am Mr. Sai Mushu Tariq. Today we'll be discussing a totally different topic, not the regular one, not my lectures. Uh, obviously before the exams, uh, my students wanted me to record a lecture where we could discuss different strategies, the way we can adopt probably one month or maybe one and a half month before the exams. So that we how what are the different ways, strategies that we can adopt to perform in a much better way uh, for our examination. I'm pretty sure you are aware of most of them, but at times we really need to be pushed. We really need to be emphasized upon many things. And this is the way we will be able to achieve it. So sit back and just listen to this, note it down and please try to follow it. I am very hopeful that it is going to help you and you're going to recall this lecture that yes, it was very good. Thank you, Mr. Sain. So how to prepare discussing. an attempt for O level or IGCSE, ICT, or computer science or any other subject, any one of the year level exams. Frankly, it's for all the exams, not just for the CI exams. Now, two months before your exams or maybe one month before the exams, this is what you seriously should look at. You should look at the revision timetable. You should basically check the most important thing is up to date syllabus. Uh, this is not a very common thing, but I've seen it. Uh, that some of my students, they called me up just two months before the exam or one month before the exam and they said, it just happened to one of my students, I wouldn't name it. And uh, she said, I was uh, aware, um, I was not aware of the syllabus, um, the teacher didn't update me in my school. Now, so I'm planning to postpone the exam six months and I'll appear in the next session. So this could be a big issue because if there has been a lot of changes in the syllabus, this could be a big problem for you. So it's very important that you look at the syllabus, the exact syllabus uh, for the examination year that you're appearing for. Uh, just don't take it for granted. Just don't think obviously it will be the same. You have to be sure about it. Make sure you thoroughly go through it as well. Find out about the exam. For example, are questions multiple choice or essay based? I'm pretty sure 98% of you already know it. So it would be quite a rare case that if there has been a change in the pattern of the paper, you are not aware of it. So these are some things that obviously you have to look at two months prior to the exam. That's minimum. You should know the time um, duration that you have for the paper. How many papers do you have? What type of the questions you have? What's the pattern of the paper exactly? Prepare a revision timetable. Well, one of the typical thing all the teachers do tell you that you have to make your timetable. Okay, but properly planning really helps you a lot everywhere. Okay. Now some revision tips. These are really important. Uh, prioritize exams. You need to prioritize. You need to see that which particular subject needs your most attention. And in, even in a, one particular subject, you have to look at uh, which component needs the most uh, time. So prioritize your modules, which needs the most time. Okay, then you have to timetable accordingly. And this is what you have to follow. If you don't follow your plan, that could be lead to a big problem. Regular breaks, why did I add this uh, second point? Because it's really important. It's not important that you sit down for um, 12 hours consecutively, you, your brain needs rest. You have to make sure that you keep on taking regular breaks all the time, okay? So it has to be consistent. You have to make sure that you uh, sleep for at least seven hours in a day. Variety of study tools to revise. Well, as far as my particular subject, computer science or IT is concerned, uh, the more a reference that you refer to, whether these includes your uh, videos, um, I'm obviously there are lots of videos of mine on sirsime.com and sirsime.com related to computer science O and A level and ICT O and A level, IGCSE ICT. Um, so I always prefer um, referring to videos to help students and I've seen it has made a lot of difference. So it could help in other, in other subjects as well. So to highlight the important points. Yes, take a notebook. Um, I've always been emphasizing on one important thing, which is that you have to make your own points. You have to write it down. Don't just go through it. Um, recently, after the COVID, many educationists and universities, they have um, actually uh, proven this, that writing down is the best way to retain something. So if you want to retain, if you want to remember the points, you have to write them down. You just can't go through it. 
So it's much better that you make your own notes. Don't make them a lot elaborated. Obviously, you don't have time. Just write in points. And the way I tell my students is that whenever you have to attempt any theory paper, you just focus on the questions uh, for which the answers you're 100% sure of. You answer them. Afterwards, if you have a question, if let's say you have three questions and you're not sure about, you come to these three questions afterwards. You answer them afterwards. The advantage of this will be that once you come back, you have 15 minutes left and you want to finish these questions, you'll have time and you can focus on these at the end. But let's say if you just go in a flow and you just keep on writing the answer which you're not sure about, you can't erase it. So attempt the question that you are sure of. Okay, if your paper allows you to go in that, if they are connected, obviously that could get problem. But uh, for, for, for uh, IT and CS, they are not mostly connected, so you can attempt them afterwards as well. Um, planning. Well, uh, it's worth important point that you plan um, everything properly. Planning tends to be obviously one of the most important thing. So um, again, I would talk about this point again. Look after yourself during study and exam time. Okay, you will be able to work better if you eat a healthy diet. This is something really you can't ignore it, because your thinking skills will not be that much if you uh, are not feeling fresh. Your brain is not going to work. Never do that. So it's never a good idea that till the last moment you keep on studying and studying and studying and you don't take enough sleep. Please don't do that. It is not really going to help you a lot. Organize your study place. Again, um, I thought of discussing this with you. Choose a space in your room where you can focus the best. Okay. Bring in and organize the items required during your studies. So you can manage your time. Okay. Uh, you can place uh, different uh, notes on your wall um, to tell what you have to do. Maybe you might forget something. Maybe you want to um, research on a particular topic again. Um, you can have different code. Maybe red means I, I, I have to do it urgently. Maybe yellow you can have is um, I will do it tomorrow. I mean, you can use this code. This will really help you a lot. You uh, might not remember some of the things and you say, oh my God, I should have studied this topic. I was going to do it, but I just didn't do it. And many times we do that. I wish I could have studied for it. Uh, so why not write it down? Why not write it down? We do forget. Everyone does. Uh, make sure you're just the noise. Maybe you, you have to make sure you don't have interference from the outside. Streamline your visuals. Okay. Uh, if you have, if you use visuals, if you have a, have a habit of, uh, placing some things on, on, on your room, you have to place them properly. Snack and sip healthy diet, make sure you're not hungry. Um, take regular breaks, just talked about it. Turn off um, tech temptations. Don't use, use your phone. Please keep your phone away. Uh, don't go social media. I'm telling you, it will waste your time. Once you go there, it's there to waste your time. Okay? Get in a position. Make sure you have a comfortable position. Get off the bed for God's sake. Okay? Uh, you get tired, you will sleep. Okay? You, you will not be able to achieve your target. No, I'm not contradicting. What I'm saying is that at times if you want to, you definitely have to achieve your target and you have time afterwards to sleep. Yes, first finish your time and you can achieve your um, sleeping thing afterwards. Network. Well, this is really important. I mean, I, I've been emphasizing on this for years and years. I've been telling uh, my students that uh, at times uh, friendships waste a lot of time. Um, this point doesn't mean to break friendships among you. What I'm trying to say is that you have to be a bit selfish when it comes to exams. Okay, I'm so sorry for saying that, but it is important. You have to be selfish. You have to make sure your academics come first. And this is where you need to focus more. Make sure to contact those who uh, will not be waiting, wasting your time. Sorry for the spelling. You will need to take breaks with few if needed. So make sure you don't spend time with people who are wasting your time. But you need people to discuss. You need people to guide you. They need you to guide them. And network is important. Social interaction is important, but only with those who are going to help you. That's something really important. Please, it's important for all of you. Exam clips on, on the day. So let's say uh, what you have to do. Uh, so um, on that particular day, you have to stay calm. Um, if you have this uh, problem of uh, anxiety, anxiety and you get this, uh, or what you call them, uh, panic attacks sort of things, you have to deal with it. You have to let 
the invigilators, the examiners know that I do have a problem of panic attacks. They are going to help you. Tell them before the exam, okay? Don't tell them after you've read the question paper, then it, it might look like as if you're dramatizing it. Read the exam paper completely before you start. Wow, every teacher has been telling you since the middle school, from the junior school. But still, uh, we just try to go really fast. If you focus on understanding the question, I'm, I'm telling you things will be much more easier for us. Spend time, spend time, okay? Read the question. We don't understand the question. We don't try to understand the question. We just start answering it. The last part seems to be the most important where we have to focus, okay? Plan your time, okay? Very important. Um, I usually say this, that there are three components when you, in, in, in a theory paper. Uh, first of all is the knowledge. You have thorough knowledge, excellent. Then you have to talk about what? You have to talk about, do you know how to write? Do you know how to answer? So I know how to read the question carefully. I just got the question. Do I know that I don't have to write in bullet points? I'm talking about A-level IT and ICT third papers. So don't write in bullet points, write in consecutive sentence. The second sentence is joined with the first sentence and it goes in a sequence. There is no repetition of points. This is something that is very important. You, you need to plan it out. Move on to the next question. If you get stuck, just talk about it. Leave it empty. Go to the next one. Read the questions carefully and make sure you answer each one properly. Uh, I also give uh, one way, which is very good, is that you can use a pencil and you can write on keywords somewhere. So write on the keywords that keep on coming in your mind, okay? And then using those keywords, you can write in them in consecutive sentences. Afterwards, you can rub uh, that uh, pencil written thing. So that's also a very good strategy. I hope you got it. Please note it down. You can write the keywords with the pencil and afterwards you can convert them into consecutive sentences. Yeah, make sure you keep on uh, drinking water um, unless and until you're not fasting. Uh, check each answer, particularly if you finish early. Very important. Don't say, oh, come on, I'm confident. I mean, I've done 100% right. Everyone can commit mistakes. Mr. Sign does. So you have to make sure that you keep on checking your answers till the end. For practical based paper, this can be really helpful because you can undo things. For theory based papers, um, you can't do undo it. Um, but the best way is that you practice by answering those questions for which you are 100% sure about. <clears throat> Make sure you know about the practical details about your exam. Very important. Make sure where it will be held. Make sure that you go and visit there. If you have to travel some distance, what time will you be there? Uh, it takes half an hour. Make sure that if you're traveling during uh, traffic hours, do you have enough time to reach there? Okay, so uh, punctuality seems to be the most important thing. Being punctual tends to make you more organized and this is the way to success. So you have to organize things. It's something really, really important. Okay, if you are concerned, um, I've seen my concern and really good students uh, who've done, done very good in the past They've always been punctual, frankly speaking. What to do, you need to, <coughs> uh, what do you need to take with you? Obviously, you should know that. Thank you so much. Um, so, if there are any questions and queries, you can comment. Okay, I'll be more than helpful to guide you further regarding all this. So, until then, bye bye, all of you.